bless you, I shall you soothe. What a good, a marvelous, a wonderful answer to, 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 to this man who call himself leader. We never talk. You know where they talk? No, they talk about uh, uh, the man where we say, uh, this, um, the spokesperson for Northern Christians. We don't come out now, they talk. He no talk the time where we say the key, uh, 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 Deborah. He no talk the time where we say the, the launch attack on on, on Christians uh, for Satan Kaduna. He no talk the time where we say they, they, they introduce uh, this new one where we never know if we go walk or you no know, go walk. Will be Muslim, Muslim presidential uh, ticket. But uh, he no talk. Then now we come and come to talk uh, about Christianity. I, I show you soon. God bless you for me. You know what we will go do now, eh? Now for you to watch this video, eh? Use your hands. See all those questions when me and you they ask ourselves. She don't answer them. Just watch this video. But don't forget to like, comment, and also share. You know why? Do you know why they see this our problem? You don't they go for a problem solution center? They're not and Christians. I've watched the video of Shehu Mahadi, you know, where he's sending a message to you and saying to you that you should not vote Peter Obi. <laughs> First of all, I would say that video is disgusting. That video is insulting. That video is condescending. That video shows the regards that some have for you. I want, to, I want you to ask Mahadi Shehu, where was he when Deborah was killed? Did he stand for Deborah? Was he there for her family? Who killed Deborah? I want you to ask Mahdi Sheo, where has it been all this while that you have faced all sorts of discrimination? I want you to ask him, where has he been when your life was threatened? When you've had to run for your life sometimes? Where has he been? when it was time for appointments and when it was time for you to be made part of the nation. Today he comes out to tell you that you should not vote for Peter Obi because according to him, it will not get you anything. What have you gotten from all the time that you voted for whoever it was from the North? Why did we get to a place where we had a Muslim Muslim ticket in Nigeria? With all of the things that have been happening, with the need for a balance and the need for equity. What happened? Because there was no value placed on you as a Northern Christian. That was why. Simple as ABCD and nothing else. We must call a spade a spade and not a garden implement. And the truth must be said, no matter how bitter it is and no matter how angry some people will be. They didn't see you as anything. You didn't matter. Because the moment APC had a, Christ, a Muslim southerner, the most equitable thing was for them to have a northern Christian. But you saw all the things that they were saying. A good number of people were saying that, no, they will not vote a, a northern Christian. They will not want a northern LDT, even as vice president, not even as president, as vice president. Yet now they have done that. Now they are telling you. That, oh, you have to now vote a northerner. You were not a northerner when it was time for them to consider who becomes the vice president. You were not one, one of them when it was time for them to consider who is going to take the vice presidential slot, who is going to be the running mate. But all of a sudden, you are now one, a northerner because they need your thumbprint. Your thumbprint is more important to them than your life. That's what um, Adishewu practically came out to say. It's so disgusting. That in this time of our nation, where Nigeria is bedeviled by so many things, insecurity, the, the economics is bad, the whole indices were going downward. Some people are still playing the religious card and they're still playing the tribal card. Where has the religious card and the tribal card gotten us to in Nigeria? Are we not all suffering? Where has this man been when you were threatened? Where has he been when a lot of people have been killed? on their farms. They've been killed in their houses. They've been killed in their villages. Today, he comes out to sit down and tell the, 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 the Northern Christians, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, what insult. For those of you that sat down in that room and you were able to listen to him, 
I don't know whether I don't know what to say. I'll just say, well, that kind of camp, maybe ha ha ha. I don't know how you were able to see him, watch him spew all of those disgusting things, and nobody raised the voice to stop him. It 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 beats my imagination. But I'm sure it's this kind of camp where I could see some just looking at him. I'm like, be done with us. Wow. All of a sudden, yes, the Northern Christians are now Northerners. Yet, the Northern Christians are now one of a family. But yet, when it came to picking who becomes vice president, not even who becomes president, but vice president, they were told that they are nothing. You need to ask Mahadishu, where was he when the Buddha was killed? The Buddha is a human being like every one of us who had a right to her opinion. Where was he? It is time for election now. They bring all sorts of, all the things that they bring. And at the end of the day, people are suffering. <laughs> it's such a disgusting video. Such a disgusting video. Such a disgusting video that in 2022, with the insecurity that is plaguing the North, people are still playing the tribal card. The ball is in your hand. Are you going to fall for it once again?